Hello and happy Monday. I'm gonna do two videos. Um, one Lethal Co. and one Expression Fiber Arts. The first one, this one's gonna be Expression Fiber Arts. Um, so at the beginning of the year I decided to um, not do Savvy Skeins for their, um, I think she's got three different ones going on, three different yarn clubs going on. Um, she has, uh, what she's calling Knit Flicks, K-N-I-T, Flicks, um, which is an extension of last year's Cult Classics, which I was, I, um, got the Cult Classics yarn last year, if you remember. Um, another one is, um, World of Birds, I think. And I can't remember what the third one is. Um, but I decided not to, I decided to do another yarn club. Well, I decided to do Expression Fiber Arts. Thank you, Natalie's Closet. <laughs> um, and she's got several yarn clubs. I am doing two of them. I didn't intend to do two of them, but I am. So. I'll show you what which ones I'm doing. Um, I'm doing the month, the yarn of the month club, the regular yarn of the month club, not the mid month yarn of the month. Um, and I'm doing the time um, club. So let's see. So I think I've shown you what I got for January, but I'll show you again, simply because um, in January I only got one yarn and the little pin that went with it. So I'll show you January's. So here's the pin for Jan from January. And the yarn. Kind of weird. Okay, so this is the yarn, and the name of the yarn is First Light, and it is a 50 superwash merino and 50 mulberry silk, a hand hand wash, lay flat to dry, six to ten needle J to, G to J hook, and it's a is it worsted? Yeah, it's a pearlescent. It's her pearlescent or worsted. So that was January's. And then February's came out and I couldn't decide between the however many there were in February. So I got a hold of them, one of each in February. I think this was February's. Let's double check. So this is February's. And there was three in February. And it came with this little this pen, which is a sheep and flowers. three pins and three skeins. So this is the Sincere so Sock. So this one is standing tall at 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon, hand or machine wash, lay flat to dry. So this is the standing tall. And then the next one is Free Thinker. So this is a size 2, and this one is something, a quiet confidence. 
and it is, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, the yardage is 437 yards, 400 meters, and the needle size is 0 to 2, and hook is B to E. So that's these colors. Flip the tag over. That's these colors. So that was February's. So then March's came along. And I got marches. March came along. And so the pin for March is a is a mason jar with yarn in the bottom and flowers in the top. And these are, it's her luster, and it's superwash merino wool, 50% merino wool, superwash merino wool, 50% tinsel, 343 yards, needle 3 to 5, hook D to F, hand or machine wash, lay flat, flat to dry. So these were marches. So this is the first one, Kind Deeds. This one is present, not perfect. This one, ever hopeful. And the last one. is Fresh Perspective. So that is those colors for March. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? Well, no. Oh, actually, Yes and no. So I have an idea to do some tops with them or something to that effect. Okay, this is the books. Um, this is the So I thought about doing some tops or something. I'm not sure yet. So April's I just got on over the weekend. Well, actually I got it on Friday. I didn't pull it out of the mailbox until Saturday or something. So February or April's came with these little yarn owls, ba -ba 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 -ba. yarn owl pins, so she's knitting, not real big on owls, but not big on pins either, so this is the uh, luster, it, the name of it is Bloom Away, or no, Bloom Anyway, 50% merino, 50% like a cell, 200 yards, needle size 6 to 10, hook size G to J, hand or machine wash, lay flat to dry. And again, this is Bloom Anywhere, Anyway. And it is worsted, again. This dancing in the rain.
Got a little bit of pink in it, right? Pinkish purplish right there. Caught in the rain. And golden hour rain. So that was April's um, yarn in the so that's the the insiders yarn yarn of the month club um you or you choose every month which one you want if you want all three um you can get all three or all whatever she has in the insiders yarn club yarn of the month um like i said january i only got one the rest of the months i got one of each of the colors so then she did a time, the time, the time club is what I'm calling it, um, just because it has to do with time. Now, so each month you also get a stitch marker that goes with that time. And where did the stick marker go? There it is. So January's you got a, a key. February you got a little uh, diary. I'll explain it in a minute. And this month you got a, a, a clock. Um, so it's actually not a time. It's a secret society is what it is. Sorry. So um, January's was unlock your truth. That's why it had a key. And it has a little um, note on the back of the little cards. I haven't really read the notes. <laughs> so January was the Unlock Your Truth. And this is pearlescent worsted. So this was Superwash Merino Wool. 50% superwash merino wool, 50% mul mulberry silk, 220 yards, needle 6 to 10, hook G to J, hand wash, lay flat to dry. So this was January's. And then February's was resilient sock, superwash merino wool. 400 yards, 0 to 2 needle, B to E hook, hand wash, hand or machine wash, lay flat to dry, and the name, My Secrets. So, this was February's. So, February was My Secrets, and this was the card came with it. And then marches was guard your time. And so this is marches. And I believe it's a worsted. Yeah, pearlescent worsted. 50 superwash merino wool, 50 silk. Very very nice. Very very nice.
So, That's, that's not all of my um, expression fiber arts. That's the month clubs. I haven't gotten April's and I, it, April Secrets doesn't come out until the end of the month. I mean, the Secrets doesn't come, the Secret Clubs, Secrets Club doesn't start, doesn't, it doesn't drop until the end of the month. So, the, I think it's like the last week or something. And so then you don't get it until the next month. Which is okay. So I got all of April's yarn and March's secrets last week. And that is pretty much... Now that's all for that yarn. And I'm... Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And I kind of wasn't even sure whether I was going to get April's month yarn. But I also got, I also am doing a crochet along. And I'll show you, I'm not going to show you the yarn, but I'll show you what I'm working on. So she's doing a crochet along and a knit along, and it started at the beginning of April, on April 2nd. And so I'm doing a crochet along. And the colors that I got. Now, one thing I like about her yarn is the colors tell a story. Or they have the potential of telling a story, depending on what you get. Now, you had to get the blossom finger blossoming blossom fingering yarn, which is um blossom fingering, which is 50% viscose bamboo, 30% merino wool, and 20% tinsel. And I think the blossoming, blossom fingering is now the same except the tinsel and it's something else. I think it starts with an L, but I can't remember. Sorry. Um, so anyway, I was going to put it in one order and I started caking it up. <laughs> And I think I said this in another video, possibly. Started caking it up, and as I laid my labels down, it told a story. So the story goes like this. Whispering Wind says start again. Sorry. Whispering Wind says start again with pure joy where love grows here so that's the order that I put it in and so this is the story that it will tell when it's finished and then I'll show you the I'll show you what it looks like right now so whispering wind says start again with pure joy where love grows here Love grows here, where whispering wind says love grows here with pure joy to start again in the whispering wind. Now, this is what it looks like right now. Don't run away. So this is what it looks like. Sorry. Um, maybe I can put it that way. This is what it looks like so far. So Whispering Wind says start again 
with pure joy, pure joy, where love grows here. Love grows here. It says whispering wind. So that's not the order that I was going to put it in, but it's the order that it decided for itself. And isn't it fun when yarn decides where to go? Fabric does that also for me. Very strange. It just kind of, um, you know, some people have their crojo. Crocheters have their crojo. I don't know what it's called for knitters because I don't knit. I used to have the same thing for fabric where I could stand and look at the fabric and select the colors because they just, for some reason, those colors just kind of stood out to me um, for whatever project it was. And so um, I like how it can kind of do that for itself. That's cool. So anyway, that's all Expression Fiber Arts. I really like it. I do like this crochet long. Um, <laughs> I had to take my car in the other day and I'm still not happy, but that's okay. Um, and when I went up to the front when it was done, I said I was almost afraid that you were trying to get me to finish my project before my car was done because I was in there for four hours. Yeah, and I sat there the whole time. I didn't go home and come back, no. So anyway, that is all Expression Fiber Arts and I will come back in a few minutes. Happy yarning, happy week, <laughs> happy Monday. Bye.